now, but fame and fortune hasn't gone to their heads. Sure, I would say that our relationship to the Beatles' uh, music and mythos was roughly the same as your average burglar to your silver. Peter Talk has no delusions of grandeur, but the facts of the monkey's success speak for themselves. In 1967, their records outsold the Beatles and the Rolling Stones combined. Not bad for a group dreamed up as a front for a television series. You heard of Frankenstein's monster? Plastic parts, every bit, every unit. They uh, held totally all plastic, they prefabricated held... human beings, top to bottom. They, they held Not a trace of reality. <laughs> <laughs> Not a shred. Here we come. Walk down the street. We get funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, there's a monkey. Real or not, the monkeys took the world by storm and in two years had four number one albums and a host of successful singles. The show was axed in 1968, but the group carried on. Sell-out tours and a film followed. These days, the monkeys have new careers, but plenty of old memories. You know, we're all now in our uh, early 40s, so a lot of water has gone underneath the bridge and... Um, Milk over the dam. Milk over the dam. It's bread buttered. No, you over buttered the your bread. Yes, and we buttered our bread. And now we're that, laying in it now. That's it. The monkeys will be playing in Sydney until late March. Tim Wharton, 7 National News. You should see John Harker doing the monkeys walk. He's up next with Sport Today and all the highlights of the one-day cricket from the SCG. Oh, and he's got him. He's got him. Oh.